Hey guys, this is Dan for Lix, and today I'm going to be taking you through some audio production settings for Final Cut Pro X. So this first tip is a pretty basic one, but use a proper microphone if you can. Cameras usually have pretty rubbish microphones that are just used for reference more than anything else. So if we switch to the camera mic now, you can hear me talking on that microphone, and it probably sounds quite roomy, it doesn't sound great. But if we switch back to this mic, you can hear it sounds way more professional and just a way fuller sound. If you're mostly just going to be talking to camera or vlogging, then something like the Rode Video mic might be a pretty good choice. You can plug it straight into the camera and you don't have to do any auto syncing afterwards, it's all just there ready to go. Having said that, the preamps on cameras usually aren't that great, so if quality is what you're aiming for, then the best thing you can do is either grab an external recorder like the Zoom H5 along with a microphone, or a USB microphone that you can plug directly into your laptop. Something like the Blue Yeti microphone would be perfect for something like this. A big benefit of using an external recorder and microphone is that you can get a lot closer to it than you can if you're just using your camera's microphone. As a rough ballpark, you want to stay around six inches away from the mic and this means that it captures way more of your voice and less of everything else so less room noise less traffic outside all of that stuff so now that the mic is a bit further away you can hear that it's picking up way more of the room and like the laptops and recording equipment and all of the stuff that you really want to exclude from your recording if possible just a quick side note if you are using an external audio device then it's really important to do a couple of nice big claps like this once you're recording on video and audio. That way when you get to Final Cut and you've loaded your clips in, you can really easily auto-sync them together. I'll be talking about the auto-syncing process in a little more detail in another tutorial, so definitely subscribe and stick around for that. Once we're all set up, the next thing we're looking for is to be hitting the right sort of levels on whatever's recording your audio. If you're using an external recorder, then that'll usually have a little gain knob to adjust the levels, or if you're using a microphone plugged into your camera, then you can usually access those settings inside the camera's menu. So for this example, we're gonna be looking at the Zoom H five. A good ballpark to aim for is probably around minus 12 when you're talking into the microphone as this gives you a little bit of headroom if you get excited or start talking louder. Another big tip is to listen while you're recording if possible or at least periodically double check that everything is sounding okay. It's very easy for the level meters to look fine but then when you get your footage onto your timeline you might hear some noise or distortion that you didn't notice at the time because all of the level meters basically looked okay. It's really important to keep an ear out for stuff like that. So bearing all of these tips in mind the final key thing to remember is to use your ears and if it's sounding good it probably is good if it's not sounding so great then it's probably a case of tweaking your workflow or just adjusting things subtly like getting a little bit closer to the microphone or something like that thanks for watching and remember to subscribe to this channel for more content like this if you'd like to license the music track used in this video or other commercial music tracks head over to the licked website linked in the description below